super arcadey. But they just added this new franchise mode to the new game, and I'm really excited to try it out. Made a new team to take the new the league by storm. We are playing as the Flaming Otters, the greatest baseball team in the Twitch semi-professional baseball league. You see here, hold on, let me turn back on the sound for the game. There we go. Much better. We have uh, just started this new league. I simulated like two of the computers games. Um, we are currently in the viewer division of the Twitch Semi-Professional Baseball League. Uh, and as you can see here, we've got a couple other teams on the league. we got the Swordfish, or the Division, I should say. The Swordfish, ourselves, the Flaming Otters. The Bowmen and the Hares. The Hares have already played a game. Looks like they're a game and a half back. So let's go ahead, we will actually check the entire schedule, give you an idea. So our schedule, we start off two games versus the Rushes to start the season. And then we'll head to, uh, the Feeders will come to town and then we'll go play the Razzles, Razzles and the Swordfish. Quite the, uh, quite the start to the season. Let's see here, is there a way for us to look at the actual league overview? And show you the teams. Play game, watch game, simulate game. Let's see here. If your schedule's not going to do it. Season standings. That should ever be. There we go. All right. So we are currently in the Poggers Conference. Uh, in the viewer division. This is a designated header division. So we will be playing with the designated header rule in effect. Um, looks like right now the Wax Bills are leading the conference with their uh, their Looks like three nothing win over there. Maybe not. I'm not sure what their win was, but check the wild card standings too. A couple different teams in each division, and then two divisions per conference. All right, we'll take a look at the starting lineup today. So our shortstop leading off, we have Isabella Bravo, Ophelia Wentz in right field. Janet Green at third base, Ronan Kane at shortstop, Stefan Oleo at first base, Werner Gruber in right field as well, but he also plays, he cycles through the outfield uh, uh, positions. We got Zane Garner in left, Aaron Maddox at catcher with Blaine Knapp backing him up, Bodie Carr playing second base, Kale Downs left field and also an outfielder. Grayson Roosevelt backing up center field. Actually, it looks like he's our starting center fielder. And then we have Isaiah Bean playing second base. And then we've got a couple different pitchers. But anyway, let's check it out. Let's see here. Our first game of the season, we're playing against the Rushes. They're coming into town. Their starting pitcher for the game is Carp Conrad. And our starting pitcher will be Finnegan Christian, a right-hander. Let's fire it up. Let's see here. So Bravo will be batting first, then Wentz second, Gruber third, Garner fourth, Oleo fifth, Knapp sixth, Green seventh, Maddox eighth, and Kane batting ninth. And then we've got Christian, as I said, starting it off. Looks like a good lineup to me. Let's play some ball, shall we? I'm gonna put you in after this game. We just gotta. This is our first first outing. We'll sign you. You'll be our first signee. Plus, I actually just have to get used to the game again because I haven't played in a long time. So, all right. Looks like we're pitching first. So choose pitch type. I'm playing on an Xbox controller. So. Right stick to choose the pitch type. Aiming with the left stick. Start a pitch with A. Move it to the target. Okay. Let's see if I remember to play this game. Start him off with a curveball. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, all right. So this is a new. Uh, this is a new system in this year's game they're 
traits that pop up during the middle of the game that can affect situations. So apparently, Ponce is a tough out. So he is better at contact hitting with a two strike count. Give him some low heat. <sighs> yeah, sit him down. Quick Master is stepping up to the plate. Looks like he's calling his shot already. Strike one. Slider low and in. Alright, move fielder with the left stick. Select a different fielder with left trigger. Okay, that's a new new to this game. Initial movement can also change. Okay. Players feel the ball automatically, but the higher you're setting, the more you'll need to help them. Okay. Yep. AX, BY, same thing as most games with the, the bases. So, gesture of base and hold for more power. There we go. Two up, two down. Stepping in, Zerwin Blackwell, the center fielder for the rushes. Strike one. Uh-oh. Oh, left a changeup. I left a curveball hanging. Uh, so this guy's much worse with a uh, two-strike count. And we'll sit him down. Three up, three down. And the otters are coming up to bat. Isabella Bravo stands in. Getting used to the batting again. That's down. All right, what? Good eye, good eye, good eye. Ah. ah, that was weak. A weak first at bat. We'll turn to Wentz. All right, I'm swinging a little late. In the dirt for ball one. That's High and inside for ball two. Nope. Low again. Oh, cranked that one. All right, so advance, hold the left bumper. Return, hold the right bumper. Freeze with both at the same time. Advance the lead with the left trigger. Oh, that one might be gone. Oh, off the wall. Send her into second base with a double. First hit of the season for the Flaming Otters is a double. And we got runners in scoring position. Send her home. Yeah, there we go. RBI. First RBI of the season. First run. And the Otters take a 1 0 lead. Uh-oh, looks like a double play ball here. Yeah, that'll set them down. But the Otters take the lead. Their first run of the season. Dodson stepping up to the plate. Fastball low and in. Strike two. There we go. Finnegan Christian pitching a classic already. I think that's three K's and four batters. Strike one. Uh oh. Pitch down the middle. Oh, cranks that one. Uh-oh. The first base runner for the rushes of the season. A one-out double. 
Oh, almost turns the catch and catch and flip double play. Scarlett Orozco steps in. She's better against right handers. Curveball on the corner for strike one. Change up low and inside for two. Give her uh, high and inside heat. Ooh, tried to step her off the plate there. Ooh, catches that outside corner and she sits down. We're through one and a half. Still one nothing for your Flaming Otters. And a leadoff single. And Nap stepping up to the plate. Oh, oh, just drops foul. It's looking like extra bases on that one. Garp Conrad bringing some heat there with a 99 mile an hour fastball. Ooh. Snagged on a line drive there for one away. And Janet Green flies out to center to make it two away for the Otters. Slow dribbler to third base, and that retires the side. Two away for two innings in the books, and the Otters still lead 1-0 with Mackenzie Goodman coming up to the plate. Christian gives up a, a leadoff single, and Jared Richmond steps in with one on, none out. Oh, come on up. That looked like a good pitch. Oh, come on. Heat blows him down or blows by him, sits him down for the first out of the inning. Standing in Junior Ponce. Usually a pretty tough out. He's the leadoff for the uh, the rushes. Notoriously hard to sit down. Oh, and he sneaks one through into center field for another one out at single. Looking like some gaps in, in Finnegan Christian's armor here. Two men on, one away. Counts 0 oh and 1 for Quick Masters, the shortstop. Oh. 
Ooh, blows him by, blows it by him with the 93 mile an hour fastball to sit him down. Two away. And Zerwin Blackwell coming to the plate. Base is loaded, and Daniel Dodson coming to the plate. 0 for 1 on the day. There is two away, though, here in the top of the third. With your Flaming Otter still leading by one. Oh, and two the count. Dodson quickly on his back foot here in this pivotal third inning situation. Oh, and Dodson snaps his bat in half as Finnegan Christian escapes a third inning, uh, some third inning trouble there. And the score remains. The Flaming Otters won. The rush is zero. Digging in for the first time today, Ronan Kane. And he drills one right back past the pitcher. A, a leadoff single here in the bottom of the third. And that brings back up Isabella Bravo, her second time at the plate tonight. With one on. And none away. Takes a first strike looking. And smashes one right back past the pitcher. Two on, none away. And the Flaming Otter is looking to do some damage here in the third inning. Ball, low. Ball one. To Ophelia Wentz, who smashes one right back past the pitcher. And that'll load the bases for your number three in the hitting lineup. Werner Gruber coming to the plate. One RBI already on the day. Looking to make it a couple more. Uh-oh. Dangerous ball there. Double play, but he will sacrifice in a run. Otters take a 2-0 lead, but two away. As Carp Conrad escapes some of the, some of the trouble there. A single to the left side brings in another run, and it's now 3 0. Stefan Oleo stepping up to the plate. Takes a good ball outside, ball one. And turns on one inside, an error by the first baseman. And he's safe. Carp Con or Blaine Knapp stepping in. DH. Oh, almost a, a nice sliding catch by Blackwell there in center field. But he can't quite get to it, and that'll bring the bases loaded for Janet Green. Number 18. Oh, Green swinging it. It'll pitch well outside. And then hit on the hands, but foul. Two strikes. Oh! And the ump rings him up, low and inside. But the Flaming Otters put two on the board, make it 3 nothing, heading into the top of the fourth inning. Squint Hill digging back in. He is one for one on the day with a double. Christian finds the inside corner for strike one. Oh. 
Oh, and Garner overruns the foul ball there. Potential error there. And he pays for it. They give up a single to the center field. One on, none away for Dennis Sacred. 0 for 1 on the day. Strike one on the inside corner. And foul the way for strike two. Sacred staying alive here. Wentz calling for it, and she's under it. One away. Scarlett Orozco digs back in, 0 for 1 on the day. And she slides one into right field. Two men on. Finnegan Christian finds himself in a little bit more trouble again here in the top of the fourth. Pops up into center field and Wentz is under it. And that's two away here in the top of the fourth. Christian looking to pitch himself out of trouble here. Strike one on the outside to Jared Richmond. Oh, and two count. Uh-oh. Christian leaves one hanging over the middle. Oh. But still manages to make the third out. And that'll send the rushes back out into the field. 3 nothing still for your Flaming Otters here in the first game of the season in the Twitch Semi-Professional Baseball League. And a leadoff single again. First pitch swinging. And the Otters have one on first. Yeah, so the pitchers actually do. There's a whole system with stamina. Um, actually, if you look over here on the bottom left of the screen, right around here, it'll have like a... There's a couple different... There's uh, Their accuracy can kind of change depending on the situation and how tired they are. Um, there's velocity which is like how quickly they pitch, that changes depending on tiredness and situation. Um, and then there's like stamina that goes down the longer they pitch. So you actually have to make substitutes and stuff like that. It's a really, it's an arcadey fun sort of game, but it's still got that little bit of simulation to it that makes it pretty neat. So you actually have to try and... Um, Okay, select runner, freeze runner. Okay, so. Yeah, so the trait system they added is new to this game or, yeah, new to this game in the series. So there's situational traits that pop in, like better against right-handers, or worse at an 0-2 count, or um, doesn't, doesn't hit as well with runners in scoring position. Like a bunch of different traits like that that affect your stats, which is really neat. There's development that they find. So the franchise mode's new to this game, um, this, you know, version of it where there's player development. Like, as the players go, they age and get worse, but they also might develop, so some of their skills might get better or worse depending on 
um, how old they are. But then there's development opportunities you can do too to essentially like pay you pay some money and it'll be like, oh, he's going to go hit the gym and it'll pump up his power hitting or something like that for, yeah, exactly. It's It's got some RPG elements to it, which is really cool and that's been missing from the series. And that's like exactly what I wanted out of it was it's this really fun, neat little arcade kind of baseball game where it's not super duper serious, but it's got just a little bit enough of development and RPG aspects to make it a lot of fun. And there's signing of new players and some players retire, some um, don't re-sign with the team. Oh god. Mm. Oh, I'm lucky I didn't get doubled up there. Yeah, so I'm, I'm already enjoying it. Alright, Wentz digs back in. She's got a double and a single on the day. Looking to hit for the cycle. She catches one high. Uh, yeah. High and deep onto the track, but reeled in by Blackwell, the center fielder. Two away with two on. Strike one to Gruber. Inside. Another strike low. Low and outside, ball one. One and two count. Gruber lines one down the line, but just foul. Oh! Trickles through, and Gruber safe. Base is loaded, two away, and Zane Garner coming to the plate. He's one for two on the day with an RBI already. Oh, and a weekly hit ball to the shortstop, and that'll retire to the side. The Otters strand three. Three nothing, heading into the top of the fifth. Shame that that one didn't sneak through. That would have been lots of runs for the Otters, but no dice. And Christian takes the mound again. Ooh, back past the pitcher. Christian can't handle it. It's a single into center field. And the rushes have their leadoff man on with quick masters stepping back up to the plate. 0 for 2 on the day. Masters eats a strike on the outside corner. Strike one. Ball called high and away. One and one count. Ooh, fooled him with that one. Christian Finnegan pitching pitching well out there on the mound. Oh, Bravo tries to handle it with a dive, but it bounces off her. And that's two on. None away. Sits him down with the 79 mile an hour changeup inside. And that's 8Ks on the day for Finnegan Christian. Oh, Bravo tries to make a diving catch. And the rushes will take advantage, making it 3-1. to one. Strike one on the inside corner to Squint Hall. Ball one. Fastball outside. Full count here to Squint Hall, who's two for two on the day. Take 
And Christian walks him to load the bases. All sorts of trouble here for Christian in the top of the fifth. Two quick pitches, and Dennis Secrets down in the count. Oh, Green muffs the ball. The Otters are coming apart at the seams right now. Bases stay loaded. Pop up, can Gruber get to it? Oh, he misses the dive. Oh, and two. Christian looking to pitch his way out of this one. It's popped up behind the catcher for out number two. Two away, three two. The the score here in the top of the fifth. Christian trying to pitch his way out of a tense situation here. And he gets the out, sneaks out of the inning, holding a one-run lead. So we head to the bottom of the fifth. It is your Flaming Otters three. The rush is two. And Stefan Oleo coming to the plate. Number 13. Strike. Ooh, strike high and inside. And hit on the hands. Staying alive. 0 and 2 count. Ball inside. That's inside. Oleo drops one in. And that's going to be extra bases. He heads to second for a double. A leadoff double from Stefano Leo. And Blaine Knapp comes to the plate. Knapp pops out to the shortstop. One away. Big Janet Green, fielder's choice, moves the runner over to third, and Aaron Maddox steps to the plate, trying to drive in the man on third with two away. That's inside. Break. And he hits it on the end of the bat. A slow dribbler back to the mound, and that'll retire the side for the Otters. Top of the six coming up. 3-2 Otters. And Jared Richmond digging in. 0 for 2 on the day. Nice, easy first out. First pitch swinging. Christian sits him down, but Ponce coming up to the plate. Two for three on the day with two singles. And Christian pops him out. Green under it at third base, and that'll be the second out of the inning. And bring up Quick Masters, the shortstop. Green has it, snags it, throws it over to first, and a three up, three down, top of the sixth for Masters. Holds on to lead, three to two. Now the base. 
Ronan Kane steps into the dish. Two for two on the day. And he puts one right back past the pitcher. Lead off single. Oh, ropes it right at the third baseman. Ophelia Wentz digs in. Ooh, and they're checking on the runner over at first. Wentz lines out to center. Well hit ball, but just can't get it down. And Gruber digs in. Carb Conrad keeping a close eye on first base over there. And a weekly hit ball to the shortstop retires the side. Zerwin Blackwell steps in. One for three on the day. This looking like it might be one of the last batters Christian faces on the evening. Sneaks a fastball in low for strike one. Ooh, that curveball misses just outside. Weekly hit. Green fields it. Throws it over to first. And Oleo stretches to make the play. One down. Daniel Dotson digging back in. One for three with an RBI on the day. They may be letting Christian pitch his way out of this inning. See if he can hold on, and he sits down a second out. Squint Hall digging back in. Two for two with a walk, a double and a single on the evening. Oh, and he sneaks one down the line. That one's trouble. Gruber chucks it back in, but not before Squint slides into second with his second double on the evening. Dennis Sacred in. Eats a strike on the inside corner, strike one. Change up low, catches the bottom corner of the strike zone for strike two. And the curveball sits him down. Christian, Finnegan Christian gets out of the inning. And that'll bring up your seventh inning stretch. The Flaming Otters leading three to two. A tenuous hold on the lead here. You've got Zane Garner, Oleo, and Knapp on the inning. Ooh, turns on the first pitch, but just foul. Weekly hit to the shortstop. He'll handle it, chuck it over to first, and that's one away. Leo digs in, two for three on the day. Ooh, and he rips one past a diving third baseman for a single. One out single from Oleo, and Matt digs in, looking to move him over. Weekly hit, could be, could be a double play. Ops to only go for the first base play. And we've got a man on second, two down for Janet Green, 0 for 3 on the day. And he rips one by the, the second baseman and shortstop right up the middle. And runners on the corners, two away. Aaron Maddox digging in. 1 for 3 on the day. Turns on one, but slices it foul. Way high from Conrad, trying to get him, get him swinging there. Oh, and this one's high and deep. It could be. It's gone! A three-run dinger 
475 feet from Aaron Maddox, and that's his first home run of the season. A three RBI, three run shot. Puts the Otters up by, up by four. That'll end the inning, but your Otters, with a three-run home run, take a 6-2 to two lead heading into the top of the eighth, and we got to imagine that'll be it for Finnegan Christian. They're going to bring in their relief pitcher here. Let's see here who we got in the bullpen. Substitute. There you go. Let's see here. We got Ibrahim Drapes. Specialist. I don't know what that does. We'll bring in. We'll bring in Reese McMaster, the setup man, here in the eighth inning, pitching with a nice four-run cushion. Gets the first batter, pops it up, but it's foul. Orozco's at the plate, one for three on the day with a single. Oh! Have to th have to think the uh, second baseman there, if he had jumped for that one, might have actually hauled it in. But Orozco sneaks in a double right over the head of the second baseman. Curveball slider change up four seam. Inside for strike one. Pops him up with a high curveball. Maddox calling for it and hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Ooh, checks on him at second. Strike one. The high inside corner there. Strike two for McMaster. Oh, shatters the bat on a foul ball there. Watch out. Shards go flying everywhere. Ball inside, two and two count. Richmond making McMaster work for this one. Fool them high and inside. Richmond does not like the call. A couple words from the ump. He goes back to the dugout, but that'll be two away. And Junior Ponce digs back in. Ponce notoriously bad with runners in scoring position. This is not where the rushes want to be. Foul ball down the left field line. Uh-oh, trouble. Oof, deep, but just foul. Ooh, McMaster catches him, catches the outside corner and sits him down with an 82-mile-an-hour change. Heading to the bottom of the eighth, 6-2. The Otters lead, looking to hold on to this uh, four-run four run lead they got here. Bravo digs in one for four on the day with a single. Make that two for five as she smashes one right back past the pitcher. One on for the Otters here in the bottom of the eighth. And another one. Two blown right back past the pitcher. 
Carp Conrad. And two on, no out here in the bottom of the eighth. Warner Gruber digging in, looking to do some more damage. Oh, and Conrad takes a ball to the chin. He is not moving out there, folks. Send the trainer out there, check on Conrad. Yeah, and they're going to pull him from the game. He was drilled by that pitch. And that'll bring in Maya Butterman. Setup pitcher. Carp Conrad took that ball straight to the nose. We'll keep an eye on uh, the, the dugout down there for updates. We're seeing here that Carp Conrad's in extreme pain following that ball straight to the chin. And Butterman gives up a single. Base is still loaded. 7-2. The Otters increasing their lead. Ooh. Aleo takes one on the inside. Probably going to want that one back. Oh, what a diving catch from Goodman, the second baseman there. Steals a Leo single. Two down or one away, just like that. Ooh, another tr diving attempt there. Bungles the ball though, makes it 8 2. The Otters increasing their lead here in the top of the eighth. It was like a line drive straight to the chin. And that guy didn't move. He was lying there dead. Pretty sure I killed the man. A double play ball ends the inning, but the Otters increase their lead by two. Eight to two here over the rushes as we head to the top of the ninth. Now batting. Up. The and... I think we're going to see the closer here brought in McMaster with a great inning of work there. But they're going to be bringing in the closer. Mateo Kiki. Number, number 24. Kiki with a nice curveball inside corner for strike one. Catches the outside edge of the plate for strike two. And pops it up. Bravo under it. Hauls it in for out number one. Two outs remain for the rushes to try and bring this game back into the fold. They are down six, though. They got their work cut out for them. Mateo misses outside. Ball one. High for ball two. Strike. Strike one blows it by Zurin Blackwell, the center fielder. Uh oh. Ooh, ball. Three and one count here. A hitter's count for Blackwell. Strike. Catches the bottom corner for strike two. Full count. Kiki leaves a, fa a fastball right down the middle of the plate. Fouls away, bouncing on top of the dugout. Ooh, and he walks him. Man on first, one away. Kiki's got to worry about the runner on first. Chucks it over to Aleo. Ah, it's a low pressure situation here. Kiki can go out there and throw pitches as he wants with a nice six run lead here. Catches that inside corner, but fouls it away. Dodson stays alive. Slider low, catches the bottom part of the plate. 
And he up rings him up. Two down in the final out. Needs could be squint hail here. He is having a pretty good day though. Three for three with a walk. Squint pops up. Green rushes after it. Dives and makes the catch. Green with the diving catch to put the game away for the Flaming Otters. And they will take the first game of the season, 8-2, to two, on the back of Finnegan Christian pitching seven innings, only giving up two runs. There you go. You see the post-game stats here. The big, the big, uh... Big game cracker there from Maddox with the three run home run. Two hits on the evening. Three RBIs. Gotta give him player of the game. Christian with seven innings, two earned runs, nine strikeouts. Solid effort from Hip. He gets the win this evening. Carp Conrad takes the loss, seven innings, giving up eight runs. And a home run, that home run there to Maddox. And there you go. You see your three stars of the game. Aaron Maddox, two for four with a home run, three RBIs, and a run, and a run scored. Finnegan Christian, your starting pitcher, getting uh, the number two star with the seven innings pitch, giving up 11 hits, two earned runs, and a base on balls. And Squint Hale getting the third star there from the rushes, three for four. Makes the final out of the game, but had two doubles, a single, and a, and a walk this evening. And there you have it. Your Flaming Otters win their first game of the season. And we'll uh, simulate some CPU games here, see what the rest of the league does. Bowman sneak a win over the Swordfish 5-4. The Razzles beat the Cobras 5-1. Protectors with a win. Logmen come from behind to win an 11 against the, the uh, who was that there? The Norsemen. Waxbills versus the Feeders. The Waxbills hold on, went 4 3. So there's your standings after the Flaming Otters' first game of the season. They lead the conference or the division, tied for the lead with the Bowmen in first place. Six run, uh, six plus run differential there. Meanwhile, in the subscriber division, the Wax Bills lead with two two wins, no losses. The rest of the division hasn't won a game yet. The Bible Thump Conference, uh, Lurker Division, the uh, Bards, Razzles, Bionics, and Icebirds all have a win to start the season. And the Follower Division, the Logman lead with a win, while the Protectors, Cobras, and Philosophers have yet to find the win column. I named my divisions, my uh, conferences and divisions all after Twitch, Twitch stuff, because this is the Twitch semi-pro baseball league. All right, let's see here. So we'll take a look through at some of the other stuff you can do. So this is player development. Player development screen presents your players' development opportunities that are currently available for purchases. Each player development op uh, opportunity affects exactly one player and affects one or more skills or traits as shown. Different player and effect combinations appear throughout your franchise season, so keep an eye on your newsfeed for new player development options. PDOs are purchased using uh, PDO fun or player development funds. Once purchased, the effects are immediately applied to the player. PDOs for star players tend to be more expensive 